Hey guys, how are you? This is Caitlin, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the cropping techniques as well as the key framing of that cropping that you just saw in the previous clip. Now, as you can see here, I have the Final Cut Pro 10 um, project window open, and it's a pretty basic project. It's short clip, but it will get the concept across pretty well, I think. Um, we have up here a shot of my dad, which I slowed down by 10%. Um, because of the fact that it was only a couple seconds of his head, but I wanted it to last the duration of this clip. So in order to do that, you have to go over here to the retiming button, go to slow or fast, depending on what you want to do, and choose your speed. Now, underneath that, I have the shot of the graduates, which um, isn't edited whatsoever. It's just shortened so that it's within the range of the shot of my dad. Then down here, I have audio. Um, the background music that you heard was by Kevin McLeod. There will be a link in the description box sending you to his royalty-free music if you want to download that. So in terms of editing, um, I added some color correction, which you can see in the inspector window right here. I added color balancing, um, very basic color correction. And so then the rest of this is all the crop tool. So what you need to do is select the clip, um, in this case my dad. And what you're going to do is make sure your marker is at the very beginning. Um, because what you want to do is add a keyframe to every point where you want it to change. So the first shot you want it to be of just my dad. Then the next shot where you want it to be different is just half of him. So you need to make a keyframe in the beginning right here. So go to the crop tool right here. And make sure that trim is selected. Now you need to tr hit the keyframe button to add a keyframe. Mine is um, orange right now, but yours should be just a white. Um, once it's orange, that means that a keyframe is on. So you want the keyframe to be registered as just this one full shot. Then you want to move it to where the graduates come in, which would be right about there. Yeah. Now you're going to want to add another keyframe here. And what you want that keyframe to do is then be a shot of half of my dad in this case. So what you would do is make sure it's on trimmed again and trim the side to right here. You're going to then move um, your marker to the end of the clip of the graduates and you're going to add another keyframe which will register my dad at half cropped again and then at the end you want one final keyframe of my dad at full frame. Now that's a little off because of the fact that I have a fade to black right here. That's a, just a transition. So all you need to do is set that trimming and then put your second shot, which in this case is the graduates, um, underneath that in that same block of time and it will just show up. Now for this, to add that little black border that you see, I did some trimming of this shot as well because without that trimming it would just be my dad and the graduate side by side there would be no black so what I did there was at the beginning of the part where the graduates come in I added a keyframe to that clip so make sure that your your form of the graduates is selected and you're gonna add a keyframe right there and go to the trim tool and trim it to however far you want your um, border to be like I could choose it to be as long as I want but I want it to be right there so then right at the end of the clip it will just take care of the going away for you once that clip ends and the border will then obviously disappear and my dad will automatically go back to full frame because of the keyframe. So yeah, guys, that's a very basic tutorial on cropping and keyframing. You can do keyframing with any effect, actually. Um, just make sure that you put keyframe every time you want there to be a change. So I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for watching. There will be some links below to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe for a lot more of the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials that will be coming in the coming days. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.